This is the Battle of the Titans. I'm not talking about Godzilla versus Kong. We've been there, done that. I'm talking about real estate versus the stock market and where the rich people actually prefer to spend and invest their money. Andrew Ferguson back with another video about investing and how the rich actually prefer to invest their own money. Is it real estate? Is it stocks? Let's find out. When it comes to investing their money, many wealthy people have the choice between the stock market and real estate as an investment platform. Both options have their own unique set of pros and cons, and it ultimately comes down to the individual's personal preference and financial state. But on one hand, stocks offer the potential for super high returns by comparison in a relatively short period of time. The stock market has historically provided an average annual return of around 8 to 10% if you're including dividends or not, with some individual stocks performing much, much better than that. This can be a great option, especially if you have lots of cash to put in, cash in, cash out quick, and the wealth can grow rapidly. And it comes with the place of inherent risk. Risk at a stock individually could go down quite rapidly, or the entire market could tank like we saw in 2022. There is always a possibility of losing money in the stock market, and this volatility can be especially dangerous if you have all your stock money in one actual type of share, in one company that's going to go up or down and make or break it for you. Real estate now, thrown into the other hand here, is a more stable option for investors. And while the real value of real estate can fluctuate just like the stock market can, generally over time, it's an asset that kind of just starts slowly and kind of builds its way and kind of creeps upwards, okay? And it provides a consistent stream of income for the passive investor. Additionally, real estate can provide the opportunity for leverage, which you can't always use in the stock market or shouldn't use in the stock market because it comes with things called margin calls. But this allows investors of real estate to purchase properties with smaller down payments or down payments actually sourced from previously purchased deals and potentially enhance or increase their investment long term. But it's not all rosy. Real estate does come with its own set of extenuating circumstances and challenges. The upfront cost, for example, can be huge to purchase a home compared to getting started in the stock market, like significantly, significantly different. And there are ongoing expenses. There is ongoing work for maintenance, property taxes that need to be taken into consideration along with other kind of utilities and bills. This takes away from the bottom line and real estate has to be accounted for. Additionally, there is way more hands-on, even though real estate can be thought of as a passive income stream, there's so much hands-on work with that asset when it comes to kind of finding tenants, managing their expectations, you're using a property management company, coordinating repairs, working with local building officials to make different kinds of repairs and permitting. There is lots you have to get your hands dirty for with real estate. It's not as hands-off as the stock market as people would like you to believe. So which is the best choice for wealthy individuals that are looking to invest their money? There isn't an actual straightforward answer, but there is some data that I'm gonna to get to in a second, okay? Drop a like if you're getting some value here so far, but it actually depends on the individual's final goals and risk tolerance. For someone looking to maximize their portfolio's return in a shorter period of time, the stock market may be the way to go just because the kind of ebbs and flows are lower cycles than the real estate. However, it's important to diversify across a portfolio and not put all of your stock accounts into one kind of share, one kind of company. You want to spread out the risk and also review regularly because the market dynamics do change month to month, year to year. For those that are more risk adverse and looking for like a longer term horizon, long time preference investment, real estate may be the one and the better option for them. While the upfront cost can be significantly higher than the stock market, the potential for passive income, again, there is work to be done, but the passive income and long-term growth for real estate can be attractive for those willing to put in the work upfront, build your property portfolios up and manage them on an ongoing basis. Ultimately, the decision between stocks and real estate is going to come down to each investor's personal experience and their actual financial goals. But there is a statistic out there that 90% of the world's millionaires are created through real estate investing. And that still holds true today. It is a brick and mortar kind of asset you can take and put it into your portfolio. It is one that is going to be there long term. There's no more land being built, as they say. And I think most rich people, most rich investors invest in real estate first, extract value from that asset once they have it up and running, have a team there to manage it for them because they can afford that. And then they take the value of the real estate and apply it to the stock market to get the best of both worlds and grow that way. But again, it comes down to carefully considering the different options, carefully looking at the risk, the due diligence, and there's different kind of pros and cons between each. But if you want to know how to get started with real estate with no money and no education, make sure you check out this next video right here. Subscribe if you got some value today. I'll see you guys on the next one.